Welcome viewers, Glorong here. Evil I wells fall from an ancient right fortress in deep in the mountains. A foul place that has recently reawakened. The goblins have a new leader who carries out Sauron's tyrannical will. Once this sinister overlord is vanquished, the goblins will be scattered and confused, loosening Sauron's grip on this region. Well, let's loosen Sauron's grip on this region then. In days of old, the Ethimors were held by the Witch King of Angmar. Now the new goblin leader has taken these lands for his own. Well, anything to do with the Witch King is probably bad. Glorfindel, Haldir, thank the heavens you're here. The goblins overwhelmed us. Hurry, there's still time to save our people. Yes, you're right. There is time. In fact, there's infinite time because they don't lose health while I, I'm not there. I'll just fight forever. You know, I don't really need reinforcements. <laughs> I could just use you. Although, I guess you're coming back with Mirkwood archers. Mm, probably a good trade off. This is the way. The goblins are too many. The enemy approaches. The shadow must be stopped. The enemy is above the music. Invaders! And enshrouding miss. This way. Because Entrowing Mist reduces the damage the enemies do, so it effectively increases this Glorfindel's, um, defense armor. And hopefully Glorfindel will die through an oversight. I cannot hold much longer. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, I'm gonna try not to let him die this time. <laughs> like I did on the high pass mission. Is it just me or is the game? Um, wow, Gryffindor is taking a lot of damage. Don't die, Glorfindel. No, don't die. Run away. Run away. Swim away. We must gather our strength. These guys are level two. It's nice. I want you to level up. I don't want you to die. <laughs> Don't want you to level up that badly. Wait, what? How is... Oh. <laughs> I was wondering how I was taking damage. One archer. Wow. That's kind of a surprisingly long range. I didn't think they could even shoot that. Or it's too late, which is never. It's basically, just arrive. Purity is awesome. Glorfindel is probably one of my favorite heroes because Blade of Purity plus Wind Rider gives him plus 200% armor, which means he takes like one third damage. So it basically just makes him invincible temporarily. I will be your guide. Now it doesn't actually take damage. Well, you're gonna die. There's not really that much I can do. 
Everybody attack. I have returned with help. Let us put these foul beasts to the sword. Oh, what's the case maybe? Um, good archers. Thank you. Our good archers are probably the most over. Liquid archers are probably the strongest unit in the game. I'd say that if any units in the game are overpowered, it's Markwood archers. Although it is generally fairly well balanced. Some drum, yeah, if some, like, mountain giant or something gets to that drum up there, it something bad happens, so I'm gonna try to avoid it. Ah, I can't get dwarven riches. Love dwarven riches. Gives you th plus 300%. Um, yeah, plus 300%. Resources from one resource structure, so it gives you so much more resources, so many more. Did you kill it? Yes. I mean, it's not really that bad for it if the giants do come. I don't think, but it's fine. Yeah, Merkwood archers are awesome. Like, did you see that rain? This far? <laughs> if you have enough of them, you can even, like, just destroy cavalry before it can get to you. And cavalry is supposed to be archers, um, what do you call it, weakness, counter. This is still a pretty easy mission. Ow, I have 12 marauders. Fight the end. Or the goblins. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have these guys. I think they can probably outrange the tower and just destroy it with impunity, most likely. So. No, 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 Do not walk through the fire, please. Can they? Yeah. They can outrange the tower. Hey, no, you're not supposed to be able to do damage. The shadow must be stopped. Build? Um, I think I'll leave these guys behind to defend, defend the base. Um, what did I say? These two, and then I'll take the rest along, and of course the heroes. Oh, have the combo. So now I do twice as much damage, and I take three, and I take one third as much damage. So, hey, look, more stuff that the Merkled archers can destroy with impunity. Let us go. Stay close. <laughs> they even have the high ground. And they still can't hit us. Okay. You guys can head over to the end route. Actually, destroy the tunnel first. 
because I think there's a bonus objective for that. Stuff come out of there. Oh, whoa. Ow! Oh yeah, he also gets plus 60% speed. The are near. Go okay, I want to use the golden arrow on this guy, because he's a light-sensitive unit, and it claims... The golden arrow claims that it stuns light-sensitive units. I'm not sure if it actually does. I sense a dark presence. I don't think it does. Well, I don't know. We go. I mean, looks like he's not moving. They so. must all be killed. Hmm. I guess it does work. Maybe it just takes Hold a little time else. to work. Uh, destroy the eight goblin tunnels. Let be unmade. Tree. Instant kill. Yep. The forest of Fangor. We must not fail. Ah, Treebeard, totally unnecessary. Uh, yeah. I think if I destroy the last, I think the last tunnel to destroy is in there somewhere. That did like nothing to him. Wow. That was really bad. Focus your fire, Elves! You must protect 
done with this. <laughs> Gloin's still trying to hack away at the wall. <laughs> one, like, one volley from that. From the Mirkwood archers killed that thing, I think. that's the last tunnel and then that'll complete all the bonus objectives and then I can just easily destroy the stronghold and that finishes the mission. You know, archers aren't supposed to be, if they're supposed to be highly ineffective against buildings. <laughs> but because they're Mirkwood archers, they're super effective against everything. Yep. And now, everything on the map, go destroy this. And then I win. fun. Next I'm gonna actually get to the somewhat difficult missions. In the battle's aftermath, a lone dwarven prisoner is freed and desperately begs for Glorfindel and Glowin's help. His dwarven clan in the Blue Mountains is under attack from a terrible dragon. That doesn't look anything like the art you showed in the Sauron first cutscene. In exchange for one of the dwarven rings of power stolen from the dwarves long ago. Thank you all for watching, and see you next video. Bye.